Hey guys, it's uh, early. It's 1 a.m. update, but it's only 1240. So the National Hurricane Center getting their stats out a little bit ahead of schedule with this 1 a.m. update and nothing has changed <laughs> right now. We're still looking at the winds 65 miles per hour, so that is unchanged. The movement at the last update, it was west northwest at three miles per hour. That is the case with this as well. It is still moving, but just barely very slowly to the west northwest and the pressure has not changed either 993 millibars. So just wanted to get you that update. Not much of an update to say that not much has changed, but we are kind of beginning to see just a few changes with the radar. For example, starting to see some of the heavier rain closer to the center. So that is something that we have been watching. Also, just kind of this little bigger picture look. You can see a couple of these bands that we've been talking about. A couple of these prompting some flood advisories for St. Charles and St. John Parish. Again, not really significant flooding, but there may be a little bit of water over roads or low lying areas. So some minor flooding issues possible there. That advisory goes until 145, so another hour or so. And we'll see whether any more are updated. Also, another band that we're seeing out here kind of south of the Mississippi coastline and this one will be kind of wrapping up to the north and eventually northwest. So we will see whether some of our maybe Hancock or more toward Harrison County uh, areas perhaps will be dealing with this as we head into the next couple of hours perhaps. But again, just to recap right now, just wanted to get you the very latest, the 12 uh, or the 1 a.m. advisory coming out quite early, uh, just barely after 1230 a.m. So it came out almost a half hour early from the National Hurricane Center. Sometimes they come out right at the time or a couple of minutes after. Uh, sometimes they come out a half hour early. So that's pretty much what we saw with this. So Tropical Storm Barry, still a tropical storm. And by the way, we've been talking about it becoming a Category 1 hurricane now with the path at landfall west of Morgan City by early tomorrow. So this would be the point 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that's only a few hours away at this point, you know, six hours away or so. And notice it may by that point be a category one hurricane. We'll see, but it hasn't changed as far as our wind speeds and really have gotten no indications that um, it has really strengthened as far as the wind speeds go. Keep in mind also that 65 miles per hour to 75 miles per hour. It's not a huge jump. So if it did strengthen to category one status, you know that we're still just talking about five to 10 or so miles per hour difference, which of course would be stronger than what we're seeing right now. But again, it wouldn't. It looks like be a really significant increase, if anything, just a little bit before landfall. Still forecast to be near Lafayette as possibly a tropical storm with maybe 60 mile per hour winds, perhaps as we head into Saturday evening, then toward Alexandria by Sunday morning at 7 a.m. with winds back down to 40 miles per hour. So maybe by the point that the center reaches Alexandria late Sunday, it may just barely be hanging on to tropical storm status or maybe a depression uh, even by that point, perhaps. And then it becomes a depression and eventually remnant low as it continues farther to the north.